Several improvements have been made in Origin 2025 to make grouping and editing plots much easier. This video will show off these new improvements by creating a graph with mixed scatter, line, and area plots. All the data is from the same sheet, so we can highlight all to plot a line graph. First, flip the x-axis. Let's also turn on anti-aliasing so the curves look smoother. When multiple columns are plotted together, they are plotted as a group. You can see they are all under G1 in the Object Manager, which means Group 1. To change the plot raw to a scatter plot, we must move it out of the group since all plots in a group must be the same type of plot. Once it's out of Group 1, click it and use the mini toolbar to change plot type to scatter. Then, let's customize the symbol size, shape, and color. In this metal oxidation data, we want to group the same ions so we can customize them together. Origin 2025 provides a new Move as New Group item in the context menu. Control select all the iron 3s, right click, and choose Move as New Group. Next, repeat these steps to move the iron 2s into a new group. There is only one iron zero, so simply choose Move Out of Group so you can customize it individually. For iron zero, set the color to magenta. Now we have a graph with three groups, G1, G2, and G3, and two isolated single plots, raw and iron zero. For group one, increase the line thickness. The color list for these plots is black, then red. This means if we drag the sum plot down to be the second plot in the group, it will turn red. For group 2, set all plots that have the same color, green. For group 3, set all plots to blue. Now we want to fill the area between the group 2 curves and the background curve. You will notice that there is no control for this in the mini toolbar, so to achieve this, you will need to go to the plot details dialog which offers full control of the graph. Previous Origin users may notice right away that the plot details has been improved in the left panel so that we can easily tell there are three groups and two single plots. Note that the Object Manager follows the same order and structure as this list. When working with groups of plots, many controls only show when the first plot of the group is selected on the left. For example, if you click the second plot in a group, you can see there are less tabs on the right. So this improvement to the plot details left panel now makes it much easier to select the first plot in each group. Since we want to fill the area under our plots, go to the line tab and enable fill area under curve. And because we want the fill to stop at the background plot, choose fill to data plot. But background does not appear in the drop down data plot list. This is a limitation in origin. A plot can only fill to a plot that occurs after it. So let's cancel the dialog. In the Object Manager, you can drag Group 1 to the Group 3 node, or simply right-click Group 1 and select Move Down twice. Now double-click to open Plot Details. Select the first plot in Group 1. In the Line tab, enable Fill Area under Curve and select Fill to Data Plot. Now you can select Background. If you go to the second plot in the group, you can see follow first plot in the group is checked, which means all plots in this group will be filled to the background plot. Select the first plot, click apply. Notice the appearance of the pattern tab. Change fill color to auto so we will use the curves color as the fill. Uncheck follow line transparency to enable transparent fill options and then set gradient fill to one color. You can easily pick the second group and do the same. Then pick the single plot. Repeat these steps to iron zero. Finally, let's update our legend.
Thank you for tuning in, and as always, happy graphing.